Hello and welcome back to CK2 with our little Jade Dragon campaign. Where we need to figure out a way to expand our power in such a way that we can actually become half decent and might be able to eventually overthrow this dipshit. So we have literally no chance to do this in any um, way possible. Um, like I can ask for bones, but I can only ask for Chinese artifacts. And that's about it. Ah, we really have a... I was planning on expanding, like, in the Mongolian... Like, wait, wait, how does this even work? Mongolian Revolt? Wait, these are... Oh, wow. Wait, don't you have trouble now with the... No, they don't. Okay. We might be able to attain some land out of this. Um, if I'm smart, let's see. So let's start fabricating right here. I, can I do a border skirmish on you? Declare war, border dispute. Yes, I can. I need to check how much strength do you have. 2k. Haha! <laughs> well, I can't <laughs> do anything with that. Um, steward. Let's get this blind bat in. Okay, I... S okay, what is your... What is our... Um, country law? Is it Ignatic Gavelkind? No, no, no. I need to do this one. Magnetic appointment. Right. Burgers need to pay more money. I don't think I have any cities underneath me. I have some. Oh uh, boy. Okay, so... This guy has a Mongolian army of 2,000, which is mostly horsemen. Um, which makes it very difficult for me to strike against him. This guy has what? Nothing, it looks like. Wait, what is this? No, this is the 2000 one. It's like the Viking Age, all great, everything. 222,000 light cavalry and some ST, which I think is just... Yeah. It's horse archers in this case. I don't know what it stands for, to be honest. Oh, this guy owes me a favor. Great, what can I do with it? Okay, one of my kids became Midas touched. I think we should be focusing on money, trading, and something else. I... I wish it was not a feudal uh, empire right now, and I could have swapped myself somehow. But as far as I know, every way there is now to switch from feudal into... Um, or that used to be... Uh, every way from feudal to switch into a merchant republic is gone. Uh, we could just do the cheap one, because I think I should spend most of my money just improving my um, buildings here. Get as much power as I can, you know? And it's not gonna be much, but, uh... Ugh, crap. I genuinely, 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 genuinely have no clue how I'm gonna... ...break through. Uh... Yeah, I can go stressed, I don't mind. Um... Okay, so the major major problem is, is um, literally, I don't generate any technology, which means I cannot really increase my power base. Uh, towards anything more interesting. Um, I just don't know what to do here. I, c I, don't, I have to get powerful enough somehow within a single lifetime to do my effect of my law is a uh, Gavelkind law, which sucks ass, to be honest. Um, the protector addresses the letter wise, well, it comes to attention to the warping enemy of. Oh, okay. Um, so we actually have a prisoner, apparently. Oh, yeah, we'll just return him. I think we should have to be as favorable with the uh, Chinese Empire as we can. Um, I wish I could, you know, do anything, but, uh... Okay, we... Got 300 grace and some dude died. Well, we got 300 grace, you know, so, uh... So I can actually get some, um... Uh, Once we go back for themselves, close relative, request to marry a relative luck, and will grant you 500 prestige as well as a peace treaty with China. The spousal prince will be able to raise a regiment of honor guards when at war. So this might be a way for me to... How much does this cost me? Like, the thousand points, I guess? Yeah. I will not request this for this guy, but I might request it for... Piss off. 
My heir. He is already married within the family, so I don't know really what benefit we can have out of that one, but uh, who knows. If anybody has any tips on how to how to switch, like, to, if we can become a republic, at least we have some interesting things that we can do. Um, but as far as I know, I don't think it can. Be. Okay. A high as a kite, I think. Two children lack focus. Um, okay, you have clearly a bone for a, that one. Um, you are going to become Midas touched. Alright, thrifty clerk. Okay, I'm already stressed anyway, so... Marrying off my daughter. Right, this is already a betrothal that I have running, so that's fine. One of my kids becomes a skilled tactician. Marshall. Uh, this guy will do. That's actually my kid. This is not my heir, though. Um... Okay. Just trying to think, figure out in my head a way that we um, have any chance of increasing our strength without, you know, you know, damaging the. Uh, uh, not as own. I don't plan to become rivals without my children, because we only can help hold one holding, or we need to get strong enough um, to not have to give it away. The reason I want to title up is because it will start generating technology. Um, uh, whatever, this is fine. Uh, yeah, sure, we can get a rest of ingredients. In the hills, uh, Ukyur is no longer. Wow, okay, but still, it's impossible for us to strike against this guy. Um, okay, so these guys have a tribal system, in case you were wondering. Left their old life behind to travel to the Chinese Empire. Wait, you can do that? Pause. Hmm. Sure, needs to have a military education. This guy is a. Right, he's a clerk. Uh, this guy has is also Midas touched. I can ask him to assemble a mercenary. But wait, you can send your kids to China? How? Um, or is that something that only the Mongols can do? It's still a kid though. After all, when did that? At age 15. Born. Okay. Oh, he's a eunuch, he's been given to China. Alright, that's a bit strange. Educator is uh, apparently himself. Bit strange. She arrived at my court. Uh, she's not doing that well. Oh, the thing is though, I want to spread the Han culture. That seemed like a very interesting thing to do. Um, but, I really have no idea. Dragons do not scare me. I just... Bruh, how do I expand? How do I... How do I... How do I do anything? How do I gain more strength or power? Because I don't think I can... So he randomly signs somebody out of China to do the job. So even if I would kill this guy somehow, um, I would never be able to be the one that takes it over. Um, can I die? I already miss a leg and I'm stressed. So if I would stop hunting, which maybe just start doing a little bit of business. Uh, stewardship actually can make you depressed. That might be a bad, might be a good one. Um, I have some money. What am I going to spend it on? Keep. Uh, you know what, let's get a level 1 building of everything first. 
And I wish I could own a city. Because they just generate a lot of tax. Uh, okay, we got ourselves a masterful clerk. Excellent. I'm going to order you to take the vows, though, if you don't mind. You can't. Well, great. Um... Summer's Lord on his own. You know what? Assemble a mercenary company. It's gonna you know, lessen my income a little bit. Actually, not my income, it's just my army size. But I think it's gonna be uh, worthwhile to at least invest a little bit in that. Alright, so... Force acceptance of a lot of stuff, but... Hmm. Oh wait, we've got a very small dude here, which is nothing, declare war, border dispute, we've got a claim actually we can press here, alright, raise the army, and just take him down. Well, at least we got some land out of it. It's always great when these guys split off. One for one. There we go, that's 99%. Guy surrenders immediately. Uh, yep, he surrendered. Okay, let's pause real quick. There we go. So we got ourselves a tribe, which we can't upgrade to a castle because we need to have... Either the religion needs to be conferred. Both, actually. The region needs to be Taoist, and then he says a stone hill for it. We cannot hold tribal lands. Okay. But we made a start into... Uh, this is actually fairly large. Let's see. Um, the jure. The... No, 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 no. I need to know about this one. There we go. Uh, holds one, two, three, four, five. So I need all three. This is two. The third one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Plus, I have a truce with this dude. Wait, no, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. There we go. In for ten years. Uh, how is this going to piss off people? We've got nomad agitation. Unless we can start a castle sitting in the following kinds of they will refer to nomad control on succession. Oh, wow. I really need to. I can only upgrade it to a castle, so first of all I need to convert this. So let's start with that. Let's start fabricating claims here, because it's cheaper than a border dispute. And I might be able to give this in to somebody in my court and should not be one of my kids, so. Okay, we're gonna check this. Grant land a title, the country of edging. Now this guy could become, in theory, my... No, okay, he can't anymore. Oh, wait, that, didn't that make him independent? Yes, it did make him independent. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, okay, I can't just declare war on him. I have a... Oh, that's just a border dispute? Oh, come on. I actually own a claim here. Or is it because I pushed it, it's already gone? Uh, I just got the county Fuki. Oh, crap. So used that I could do that stuff. Yeah, well, just if it kills him, no valid plots because it's one of my kids. Special character action plan. We can send him into hiding. Don't really want to do that. Okay, maybe it's just a little... Uh, Let's load an order save. I'm just really fringe working here, so I'm ah. annoying. At least that's that's I think the biggest thing that I've realized by now. It's starting off in the Western Protectorate, not as the guy that uh, runs it, is difficult as hell. Um, some might see this as a challenge. I myself has am at the point where I'm like, you know what? I don't like the challenge anymore. We've gone one too far. It is still a challenge when the potential to get out of it is close to nothing, really. Um, it might be 
Well, okay, so if tolerance gets high enough, I might actually be able to switch into a primogenitor, but I will never be able to take the technology, so I'm fully dependent on um, my... Really? Run for so long? Wow. So I'm fully dependent on if my liege gets me tolerance 3 and it spreads to my province in time. I can, well, while I can influence the spreading a little bit, it's going to be difficult. Now what else I could do is get enough points through... Uh, spying technology to get tolerance three, but I uh, there is we can't reach a promise right now. There we go. Accept it. Okay, so we need to if we want to get rid of this. I is it, so this will re refer back to nomadic unless we do this in time. Uh, do you hold anything? Like yeah, and I hold most of it. Can I not just request this title? Can you usurp this? In the same realm, unless you have a strong claim. Um, I don't think I can fabricate a strong claim. Kingdom of Xia. Annoying. Should have. Ah, damn it. This is not going to do much for me. Mm. Oh wow, we can be ambitious. Great. So if we would make more money, I would just push this uh, holding up to a castle. We just don't make enough money to do that, so... Let's at least try to convert it, which might help. Um... Maybe if we convert it over, um, we... I've got an idle council member. Um, fabricated claim on this guy. Take a cheap option. So I'm quite afraid to invest. So I hope that this one disappears the moment it realizes, okay, you've got a wrong holding and everything like that. Um, might be the reason we also not be able to directly upgrade it, because there's a rank is on the low side of things. What if I would switch over to... Oh. Now, now we're thinking interesting things. What if I would switch over and make this my capital? And give away this land? That would, in theory, make me tribal. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of safety save. I still want to test this out, this theory. So, uh, testing... So this is not really... We've got to go completely off route, and I'm sorry for that. But I think it's going to be fun. So we've got to capitalize edge in. There we go. Okay, that didn't change nomad agitation, but... Um, what happens if we die right now? I want to know that, so we're going to just kill ourselves, I think. Can I just do kill? No. Uh, kill player, maybe? Damn it. To fight on a chart. I just want to test something here, because if this means we can just skip out of the... Um, Feudal system, that would be nice. So we're 106, um, 5, 7, 1, oh, that's a 3, 1, 6. Okay, so we died and we got a succession. Oh, yeah, we did become tribal. Am I now a. No, wait, this is my heir. Wait, I switched. That's weird. But it did not go to Nomad Succession, so I can, in theory, just declare war, because I have a claim on it. So it's not as bad as it was. Okay, so... Let's resign. I am... A bit... Um, I feel a bit weird for the fact that we did not switch out to the, to, towards the tribal one. So what happens if... I'm just testing out a theory here, and I'm sorry I'm doing this live on air. But I think it's like, this is the in more interesting stuff you can do in CK2, is just try how far can we manipulate or break this game. So what I'm going to do now is grant land the titles to away from, but okay, I can't give, wait, I didn't switch the capital yet. So we're going to switch the capital to engine and grant land the titles. Okay, you're, you hold still that, grant land the titles to, I still can't give this away, why not? It's because the holding is of the wrong type. We will no longer have a singular castle. That might be the case. Uh, that sucks a little bit, though. 
What I could do, speaking of safes coming, so, um, design, yep. Go to menu. Is this still possible? I actually don't know. Does it load immediately through the save game? What I like to load. I still need to click play, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can do. We'll stick within the family, but we're gonna change some stuff around when we die. I'm probably gonna become. Uh, what? I don't know. Still don't know. What happens if I die right now? Because it suggests that this will become nomadic. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's all I needed to know, right? What I'm probably gonna do is switch towards the brother there and play as him. And become a merchant republic, which allows just a lot more interesting mechanical stuff, uh, even though the position for it is the terrible. But, in theory, we might be able to do some interesting things. If it doesn't work, um, ah, so be it. We'll have to test it at that point. Right, let's uh, speed 5 a little bit through this, because there's not much we can do right now. All we can do is, well, nothing really. I can start upgrading this as a market village, which I think is going to be an interesting idea thing to do. First some dragons, gain some more marshals. I was going to spend my prestige on it, um, because if this is going to be an important... If we're going to play as Ejin... Uh, it's certainly not be interested in the company to apply demand. Okay, sure. Uh, so what we're gonna do as well is tell this guy, start focusing on the buildings in this, so speed up construction. And in the meantime, I did send off my guy to become, yeah. Uh, you're Midas touched. What are you? You're a Midas touched. You're a thrifty clerk. Okay. Um, probably should start marrying my kids. So, right, you have married. You have married. Right, let's, let's arrange a marriage with you. You just need a person to be married with. They're very little Taoists, I think. Also, the Taoists that are, you know, so the sort of religion, the correct age. Most of them seem to be children. She's 16 years old. There we go, that will do. You are married, good. Okay, you need a wife. Let's marry you two. And you need a wife as well. And you can freely marry for all I care, to be honest, but uh, she'll do. She has strong, so that's a good trait to uh, get in the family. There we go. All right, nice, some couple of marriages. So yes, we're gonna invest in this bit here. Um, let's have a war camp. Chart needs focus. Right, 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 right. She's my granddaughter. Arrange betrothal, maternal. Somebody of her around her age, six years old. You will do. Sent. There we go. And let's get you a thrift. She's fairly well versed, actually. Uh, yep, we'll accept his proposal. It's interesting to see how big he can get his mercenary band. He's on contract, he's getting paid, it's nice. Trust can marry, yes. Very nice. So we're going to improve this little tribal uh, holding as much as we can. Uh, get a practice range and a weaponsmith. So the stronger this holding gets, right, the more chance we have to just take, take more land. And what we might be able to do is get ourselves a city. So we're dead. Now if we're lucky, damn it, he did not become... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's kind of what I was banking on. Um, so if I would kill myself somehow, I would become the half-brother again. I'd hoped that you would become tribal. Damn it. Um, <laughs> shit. 
Shit. Okay, I think I'm gonna... I'm not gonna call this series, but I'm gonna restart it at a different point. Um, purely because the position that we're in, it's gonna be difficult. And I don't know if I... As a series, look for personal play, this wouldn't be much of a problem. But I think as a series, it's a little bit boring that I'm really struggling to do anything uh, to even get outside of this little corner right here. And there's so much to explore. I think it would be more fun if we somehow. I think we're gonna start as um, as a Han guy on the border here on a Tibetan, and I need to actually look for a province that really suits me. Any of these provinces are on the Silk Road? No. Oh wait, here we are. And we have a, let's see, we could like here, oh, this is the seat of power, that's a little bit annoying. But this one isn't, and this is a very good province. So what we could do is start playing as this guy right here and work our way up through the Tibetan one. And we'll just modify ourselves to become of the Han culture and, uh, you know, get in good contact with the emperor. Start a good to bad, and then we can swear eventually. We can swear fealty, but I, um, like if we do a request now, we're gonna. Uh, imperial marriage is no longer possible. Is eligible for marriage? Is a relative eligible for marriage? Okay. Yeah. So next time we're gonna continue uh, playing as this guy in Prang, and uh, work from our Chinese heritage from there. I think it's gonna be a lot more interesting. We're still on the Silk Road, uh, we're in a new area, and I think we can still get a lot of interaction with Chinese, but we have a more direct approach on um, expanding and that kind of stuff. Because the thing, simple fact that I cannot overthrow my lord um, without invoking the wrath of uh, the Empire. So I've got claims that I could just fight for, pressing all claims, right? Send it. It's just insane the fact that the amount of strength that gets sent us against us immediately. There's nothing we can do. <coughs> Alright, we actually got a boy. Woo. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye bye.